with the allied shinobi forces standing with Naruto and Madara fighting alongside Obito. The fight turned extremely chaotic. It became exceedingly difficult to drive back the combined forces of Obito and Madara. Finally, Ten Tails came into being, and Obito took in its power. Jeez, after that it seems like they'd be toast. Just as they had Naruto cornered, a certain ninja appeared, foreshadowing a dramatic change of events in battle. It was Sasuke Uchiha. Uh, Sasuke? Only a matter of time before the infinite Tsukuyomi activates. The fact of the matter is, your war has ended. No, it hasn't. Sasuke and I are still here. Seems to me these two could be Obito, even if he's with the Ten Tails, right? The power of Ten Tails is equal to the Sage of the Six Paths, and with ordinary strength, it would be difficult to cause even a hint of damage. Save him was none other than your mother, Hinata. Let's move on to the next one. With their combined resistance and Naruto's words, Obito's heart was gradually softened. At last, Obito was rendered powerless, and the allied shinobi forces erupted in celebration. But this celebration was short-lived. Madara had absorbed Ten Tails' power and became the second sage of the Six Paths. His power was now overwhelming. The ninja fought frantically to the death against him losing one soldier after another. Just as things were looking bleak for them on the battlefield, two ninja rose up to face Madara. Of course, this was Naruto and Sasuke. They were the only two who stood a chance. Serious, Madara was compassionate? 
After a back and forth battle, Naruto and Sasuke managed to contain Madara. But Madara refused to stop. He turned the situation in his favor and finally brought about infinite Tsukuyomi. Oh crap, you've got to be kidding me. The ninja world was pulled into his dream, with only Naruto and a few others left behind. The fourth great ninja war had ended, and Madara was victorious. So he thought. It was thought? Once Madara confirmed the plans had been completed, Zetsu betrayed him. What? Zetsu wasn't a true friend. He's actually working to raise him. He used infinite super yellow to gather chakra for the resurrection. And eventually Madara himself was used as the vessel. So we're moving on? It was truly a war of earth-shattering proportions. Thanks to the quick wit of their companions and fierce fighting by Naruto and Sasuke, they were able to get through countless desperate situations. And Kaguya was sealed away once again. So they defeated the true mastermind? Is that where it ended? No. There was still some unfinished business regarding the long-standing connection between two star-crossed friends. The connection between Naruto and Sasuke and its eventual destination. I... I guess that makes sense. They were only able to accomplish one thing up to this point. Conflict, and nothing more. Over and over again, scars, ravaging the heavens above and the earth below, full of agonized cries and bitter rejection. And then... Obito, 
Both so beat up. What happens in the end? Both of them expended all of their power in a life or death struggle and fell to the ground exhausted. Lying there, beaten and battered, they each expressed their feelings. In spite of everything, Naruto's pure intentions remained. Nothing could change his undying love for his friend, and that would soon soften Sasuke's hardened heart. At long last, Sasuke came to accept Naruto's friendship. Sasuke finally changed? Wow. So, the two guys I know today... It would be foolish to try and explain the rest here and now. But what your father achieved can be clearly seen in your village today. As ninja history moves on, Naruto remains at the helm. Been brighter than before. The time has come. Right. You've done well. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen quite a lot, chasing your father's memories through time. I thought I knew everything about my dad already, but I didn't even scratch the surface. It's like. My dad was... Man, was he cool. His life had a big impact on history. That's why he's also the key to returning the memories to the ninja world. <gasps> Is that Nanashi's? The fourth memory appeared, but it's different from the others. What do you mean? I don't know exactly. You'll have to check. Hikari. Yes, the ninja world may still be in the darkness right now, but I want this child to walk with a new life. That's why I wanted to name her Hikari, meaning light. Is that strange? It's a good name, right, Hikari? Hikari Uchiha. That's her real name. Then why does she call herself Nanashi? Having lost her parents and finding herself being used as a tool for war. Her heart broke, and she was given a new name. Nanashi, meaning one without a name. That was the new name given to her. 
Having lived her life like a doll, a name must not have been important. What? Damn it, this is making me so angry! She lived her life in the shadows, with no future ahead of her. And now the ninja world is headed toward a similarly shadowy path. A cold, dark path, with no light to speak of. I'll never let that happen. Right. That's what the memories are for. Naruto's memories that you've collected will shine light on the world. Now, let's restore the ninja world to what it once was. Yeah. born of Naruto Uzumaki's memories. Run and spread across the ocean of memory. Memories, resurrect here and now.